Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Minister. And I believe we have a uh, fairly we have a hard stop at uh, twelve thirty, so that means we can get about uh, eight question and eight people on uh, at five minutes each. Starting then with uh, Mr. Sabara. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and, and welcome, Minister. Uh, tax fairness is something very important for all Canadians. They want to ensure that uh, they want to know that they have confidence in our tax system uh, in terms of delivering services to uh, citizens from coast to coast to coast. And as important, we want to ensure that we have a strong social fabric and a strong economy. And we need that through a tax system that incentivizes the right things to do and doesn't incentivize uh, folks from doing things that they really shouldn't and the tax system is not there f to do. Uh, what I would like to know as, as someone with a finance background is the tax fairness uh, can be put to use uh, and can be used as a mechanism for growing the economy, for in increasing investment in Canada. Thank you, sir. Well, thanks for the question. And, uh, you know, maybe I can just start by saying uh, to you, uh, thank you, because I know that you've heard from many of your constituents, many people, whether they're professionals or small business owners, in your riding. And you've come to me with the comments and come to me with the ideas that people are bringing forward. And it's really only with that that we can, we can get these uh, proposals right. So that is, in fact, what we're trying to do. Um, I will say that uh, we, have, we have really important objectives in dealing with a tax system that's created over the last half a generation an increasing ability for people to use tax planning so that they get themselves into a lower tax rate than, than other Canadians. Going along with that, as people do that tax planning, as more money doesn't go into the active business but instead is invested in passive investments that are essentially uh, intended to stay there for the long term and not to actually advance the business, that's money that doesn't go into our economy. So we decided to, uh, as a country, and I think that decision was a good one, and it was by successive governments, have uh, low corporate tax rates that encouraged investment, low small business tax rate that encouraged people to start and grow a small business. But when those encouragements actually leave money not actually doing what we were hoping it would do is, is grow the business, we are not doing what we hoped. So we are trying to encourage people to invest in their active business with a low tax rate and at the same time uh, make sure that they reinvest in that business by creating the incentive for them to do so. And if not, for them to take the money out of the business as, as, they, as they will for their, for their management of their family affairs. So we think that these incentives will help to create a tax system that's more fair and also uh, improve our economic activity. No. No. Um, thank you, Minister, for that, that answer. Um, you know, Canada, in the last decade or so, uh, business investment levels uh, have not been where they should. And there is a lot of capital sitting in passive investments uh, that could be put to use, creating jobs in Canada. And we are doing well. We have an unemployment rate of 6.2%, participation rate that's ticked up, 400,000 new jobs created, and, and uh, we're, we have a very sound, sound financial footing with our triple E rating. Uh, it seems to me that uh, there is a lot of capital out there that could be incentivized to be put back into the economy that may not be being uh, utilized at this moment in time. And I would love to hear your, your thoughts on that aspect. We, uh, we couldn't agree more. Uh, keeping the tax rate low for small businesses we think is critically important. We think it does encourage people to make investments in their business. But as I mentioned, if those encouragements don't land the business uh, making investments in their active business, and it's not having the desired impact. So you point out uh, the amount of uh, investment that we have in this country. Well, we have significantly lower investment than a like uh, situation in the United States, about 30 percent lower investment, uh, with about 25 percent less productivity in our businesses. So we do need to realize that it's important to get people to invest in businesses. That's what will create jobs. That what's, that's what will allow the middle class to thrive in our country. And uh, starting with a fair tax system gives the next generation of people the incentive to actually make those, those kinds of investments in businesses for the long term. We know that a fair tax system and one that encourages investment can go side by side and make a real difference for Canadians. Thank, Thank you. you.